Aradia, this is World Class Jerk, and today we're going to be discussing a medium generator backup system for your clean energy needs, because as we all know, the wind turbine does not always stay on long enough to charge our batteries back. Oftentimes, it lags behind just enough to where eventually, but slowly, we do indeed end up running out of juice in the long run. Now, I'm going to be honest, you may just be better off using your wind turbines with batteries, because they do hold their own for so long that you'll eventually stop using power, and then they'll recharge your batteries and it's all good. But if you do want to make sure that you have consistency and you are the early to mid game, because after that, there's just better ways. I mean, this is, this is sort of more of a neat concept than a practical one. It is practical, somewhat, but it's more of a neat one. And the reason it's not entirely practical is because it's somewhat fragile. And we'll get into that more later, but that's why we're not using solar panels as well. But until then, I'm going to explain the rest of the setup here just so you understand exactly why we're doing things. I already obviously described why we are not using solar panels, but also I use a 2 to 1 ratio for the batteries to the, uh, the turbines to batteries, rather, because these each turbine puts out 5 units of power, and each battery can receive or put out 5 units of power at one time. So if all your turbines are going, then you want half of your turbines to charge your batteries and the other half to be putting power into your base, and so that's why I use two turbines to one battery. And as for the generators, you just want to make sure that they definitely outnumber your batteries. You might want a little more than that, but you definitely want to make sure that the amount of power your generators put out outnumber the batteries for sure, and that's that. But now that we've explained all that, we should get into how the backup generator system is set up and why it's so fragile. So first of all, we're just going to set up there, we're going to explain the basic setup of it. This here is a battery sensor, and this says that once the battery runs out of power, or completely fills up on power, it activates something. In this case, that's the generator. So, when the battery runs out of power completely, or completely becomes charged, either or one, it'll either turn the generator on or off. And this is sort of what makes it fragile, because here's the problem. Right now, we have fully charged batteries and the generators are off, which is how it's supposed to be. But if the batteries get slightly drained, and then they go back up to full, then the battery sensor will say, hey, we just got fully charged, and it'll turn the generators on, then we'll have the generators running while the batteries are full. And so that is kind of a big flaw here. There probably are better ways to do this, but I completely ran out of testing time today because that's how I always do. I run out of testing time all the time. It's unfortunate. But yes, that is why this pra this is this loses a lot of practicality there because the whole purpose of them automatically turning on is so you can preserve fuel. But on the contrary, you may actually end up using fuel when you don't need it. But normally speaking, very normally speaking, unless you overdraw a crap ton of power or you for some reason are producing too much, which is not very often, most of the time this will work out in your favor, and as I said, there's definitely got to be some sort of better way to make this work out there, so maybe you can take this idea and run with it. I'm basically presenting a prototype here, uh, but since I'm presenting it, I do want to show it in action, so I guess I'll run these batteries out of power real quick, and I'll be back when they're almost out, and I'll just show this thing kicking on, because why not? Alrighty folks, the moment you've all been waiting for, the backup generators will indeed be kicking on any time now. And, uh, I mean, we're not going to be seeing the full action of it because they will not actually be recharging the batteries since they cannot power all of this. So, we're just going to see them kick on. We're not actually going to see them charge the batteries. And so, as you can see, yes, this is a good thing. Now, once again, I would like to mention the reason this is fragile, just to hammer that point in. If this were to say, for example, recharge a little bit and then completely go uncharged again, then the generators would be opposite of what they're supposed to be, and these would be empty with the generators off, and then when they fill it up, the generators would turn on. And so that is an issue, but of course, as I said before, hopefully this, this, there's not really a whole lot more research that would have to be done to make this work very smoothly, and maybe you'll be seeing me later on when I come up with a better way myself if I decide to do so, which would definitely be a good idea because it would, it, it would be good. Uh, but yeah, guys, there's there's not much left to say. I guess that's just going to have to be it for this one. Definitely uh, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave comments and suggestions. Hit the, uh, I think, yeah, I already said that. Uh, join, the, join my Discord. Link in the description to become a jerk today. And uh, I guess that's about it. Also, pro tip real quick. I just want to get this out there. Uh, do not delete these while they're in the middle of doing stuff or the sound they make will never go away. Okay, I've done that one too many times. It's permanent. If this thing's in the middle of making stuff and then you delete it in creative, the noise never goes away. So I recommend, I don't know, I guess scrapping it or something. But yep, that's just a pro tip for you. Have a nice day.